Hello everyone. Welcome to this short video where I will analyze the Monster Hunter Wild Showcase of Hammer. While the trailer looks a bit underwhelming compared to the other weapons that were shown, notably Gunlance and Hunting Horn, there are still a few things that are worth taking notes of. You could attribute the fact that this trailer was a bit underwhelming due to the fact that Hammer was always meant to be a simple weapon that is easy to pick up. The developers might have simply wanted to keep this aspect of the weapon as a striking feature during this showcase. The first thing that I immediately noticed is the fact that the Huntress is taking a side step while performing the idle golf swing combo against the Chattacabra. This is not due to an error in the showcase, or perhaps the player model being pushed around by the Chattacabra. You can actually see her taking a step. To me, it seems like they're adding just a little more mobility to Hammer by making you able to reposition slightly while performing this combo. The next thing is of course the comeback of Keeping Sway. Keeping Sway is an evasive maneuver that also acts as a gap closer in Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak. It allows Hammer to iframe through attacks and roars, as well as cover some distance. It is the only defensive move ever given to Hammer in the entire series, alongside Water Strike. It is back in some form in Wilds, as seen by the Huntress using the grappling hook of the Slinger to drag herself. Whether or not it still has invincibility frames remains to be seen. The Big Bang combo is now a 4-hit sequence before the finisher, similarly to how it was in Monster Hunter, World. It was brought down to 3 hits in Monster Hunter Rise. It also seems to have tripping resistance now. The focus mode attack for Hammer seems to be a new animation of the spinning bludgeon, which finishes into a downward slam instead of the usual golf swing. Next up is an action that seems similar to Water Strike. Water Strike is a parry move for Hammer introduced in Monster Hunter Rise. It allows Hammer to parry single hit attacks, and counter attack with a stronger golf swing than usual. However, I don't think it is exactly Water Strike. If you go back in the trailers, you'll notice that this action is very similar to the counter like charge attack from Great Sword, which has the same visual effect and also sends the monster tumbling backwards. It reminds me a bit of the counter switch axe received in Sunbreak, where you begin a charge-like animation that you have to release at a specific moment while a monster is attacking you to trigger the attack and get full invulnerability. Lastly is this charge attack performed by the Huntress at the end of the video. There's a couple of things I can compare this attack to. First is the Adept and Valor Hammer Ultimate Charges from Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. The way the Huntress swings the hammer horizontally and then vertically downward is quite similar. This attack was also shown in the MHGU intro video so it seems to be quite appreciated by the developers, although it never made a comeback in World or Rise. The way the move is performed however leaves me wondering. The power charge or stance change from Monster Hunter World and Rise were not shown in this trailer. I'm left wondering if it's back, and if it also changes the hammer's moveset. So I have no idea how the beginning part of the move shown here is performed. The best thing I can compare this attack to, given its animation and the fact that the Huntress is quite idle, is the idle swing charge from Monster Hunter Frontier. A special charge performed only if you are standing still, swinging the hammer horizontally infinitely before releasing into a powerful blow. In the Wild Showcase, the Huntress swings it vertically instead, before doing the finisher. I think that in the end, this trailer does a decent job at keeping some mystery around Hammer. I think the weapon will be incredibly fun as usual in Wilds, and that we will have to wait for a public demo before seeing its intricacies in full.
In the meantime, happy Anga Banka. <laughs>